Wow, and I am back with another review on the Oakley Airbrake Motocross. The Oakley Airbrake is a design that was borrowed from the very popular Oakley Airbrake, especially if you are familiar with uh, snowboarding. It's probably one of Oakley's most popular goggles around. And I want to talk a little bit about these lenses because um, if you're like me, if you ride an e-scooter, you will have a situation where if you ride at night, it will be very difficult for you to see with the goggles on. So the air brake, the unique proposition it offers to the rider is that you can easily swap the uh, lenses out. So in this case, you just have to pull down on the tabs like this. And then you just pop the you just pop the lens in this manner and it comes out like this. Very easy. I just want to spend a little bit more time talking about these uh, about these goggles. The great thing about again about the uh, airbrake motocross is that these uh, f uh, frame accessory here you can actually swap it out to it with different colors. The foam base plate over time you can actually have it replaced. Uh, even the straps can also have the straps replaced. So I have I bought myself some replacements over here. This is the um, this is the foam faceplate, and these are the straps. And it even comes with these um, film that you could apply on the goggles itself if you want to protect the surface of the prism lens. I got myself an iridium lens the um, fire iridium okay now these um, fire iridium lens I don't think uh, they are the original Oakley lens and I'm actually quite surprised at the amount of um, knockoffs you can get from Amazon um, these are not the original Oakley fire iridium lens but looks pretty cool pretty nice and strangely enough it's got a blue tint from the other side. It's weird. Anyway, this is how I'm gonna look uh, when I have when I have it installed on my gyro switchblade. I must say that they are pretty comfortable. And what do you guys think? So I'm kind of liking the new look actually with these goggles. Just remove them. Now these goggles, if you can see, here let me just remove them and I'll explain a little bit more about these goggles. You can see the on the top. You can see like the tiny slits over here. And this is where the air is supposed to travel, and it's supposed to prevent fogging. We'll see how these uh, actually hold up over time. And with this iridium lens, it cost me about um, US thirty dollars. So I think it's a worthwhile buy if you don't want the original. <laughs> okay. And that's my very quick review on the Oakley Airbrake Motocross. And because I've been away and I have some new things I actually want to give away. 
Okay, right. So a little bit more about the giveaway. So far, I have done the gimbal. Um, I've done the Lumos helmet. And right now on Gleam, I still have another conversion kit that will end in about a month's time by the uh, end of October. What I realized on the Gleam platform is that although it's automated and it actually captures data, if you're not a paid subscriber on the plan, you won't really know who these people are when they actually participate in the competition. So I'm just going to use the method that most YouTubers do. Um, but before I get to that, this is what I'm going to be giving away. This is um, this is the reverse component. So uh, handlebar is been cut to 700 mm. All right. Look. I would say it's in pretty mint condition. No scratches whatsoever. And together with the handlebar, I will be giving away the. I will be giving away the the stem kit as well, together with the top cap. So okay, how are you gonna win the handlebar and the stem? All you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and comment below why you deserve to win the handlebar as well as the stem. Remember to subscribe. Going forward, I think this would be the preferred choice of doing my giveaways because again, Gleam doesn't give me any data at all. Share the video and of course, good luck. It also helps if you live in Singapore because that would mean that I don't have to send an item like this overseas. It'll be a lot more convenient. You can just pick it up at um, perhaps maybe uh, Jubar or uh, Juju Coffee. They share the same location. It's at 5 Tan Lunch Street. Pop by and, uh, and then you can pick it up by the end of the week. All right? And until the next video, you guys take care. Bye-bye. So yeah, uh, that basically concludes the...